Elective surgeries recently resumed here in the Rochester area and across New York State. One of the first patients to have an elective procedure was a local doctor who's on the front lines. We're joined by Dr. James Cullinan, medical director of the emergency department at Clifton Springs Hospital. James, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Yeah, I got to ask first and foremost, um, how are you feeling if you did have surgery and uh, how recently did you have the procedure? Uh, feeling great. Thanks for thanks for asking. I uh, had surgery on Tuesday, April 28th, and thankfully I had a great recovery. I uh, have been doing well and have been back to work for about a week now. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, I see that you were feeling well enough to make your bed, so I appreciate you doing that for us this morning. My wife I always... might have helped me out a little bit. Ah, uh, there you go. I like that. Um, so, Dr. James, we want to ask you um, about your experience for the surgery itself. I know, you know, a lot of us have been in the hospital to have procedures done. We know what to expect there, but it's a little different now. So what, what big changes did you notice when you went in? Well, uh, the changes start with what we do before patients are even coming into the hospital. Uh, one of the requirements for resuming elective surgical cases is that patients be tested for COVID-19 before they come to the hospital to ensure that they are negative. And that's just an added level of protection uh, to ensure that we are not exposing our staff members to any unnecessary risks. Yeah, so pre-op, how soon before the actual surgery itself did you get the COVID-19 test? So we have people come into one of our testing uh, tents, our testing evaluation tents, mm -hmm. uh, two to three days before their procedure okay. to ensure that we have results in time. Uh, and then when you actually went in to get the procedure, I know if I've done something in the hospital before, uh, my spouse would drop me off um, and bring me inside and be in the room up until right before the surgery. Uh, what was that procedure process like? Well, my wife did drop me off and she did pick me up. Uh, however, due to the COVID-19 restrictions, we do not have any visitors allowed in the hospital. So she essentially needed to head back home and wait until I was ready to be picked up and then return to the hospital to get me. I mean, how is that for her? Just curious. Was she nervous? It's got to be weird to just leave. I know it's necessary right now, but how is she th feeling about the whole thing? Well, I think the, the hospital staff has a great system in place to address that. Uh, Although she had to leave the hospital, she was kept consistently and well updated and was updated as frequently as she would have been within the hospital. So from that standpoint, I think she she, st she stated that she felt very comfortable oh, with good. how well she was communicated with during the process. Yeah, nice knowing they're stepping up communications. You don't feel like you're kind of in the dark waiting for an answer, right? Um, as far as, you know, waiting in an operating room or a, a waiting area, were there any other patients around that you can see or did they time it so that you are pretty much alone from going into leaving? So there was a couple of other patients there. Uh, however, they had us spaced out appropriately and you know, really was was no close interaction whatsoever with with any other patients during my experience. That's good. Well, I'm glad everything went well, and thank you for giving us kind of a, a look at what that whole process can be. Because I think a lot of people have questions right now. You know, if they need to get something done, they're a little bit nervous, and some people may be holding off. But it sounds like from what you said, it's it's mostly normal. You do need to get tested beforehand, though, and uh, expect that whoever drops you off and picks you up won't be able to come in with you. So that's something you need to be aware of. Um, and I just have to ask, since you are still to hospital as we wrap up real quickly how are you guys doing right now um, do you have a lot of patients are you feeling like things are getting back to normal there at the hospital so we are we are still seeing COVID patients mm -hmm. at all of our all of our hospital locations uh, the volumes have varied a bit uh, so it's really tough to say from day to day but we we do consistently uh, see COVID patients, as well as other sick patients that need our care within the emergency departments and hospitals as well. Yeah. Well, Dr. James, thanks so much for joining us. Sounds like you guys are trying to balance it all. So we appreciate all your work uh, on the front lines. Thanks for being here this morning. Thanks for having me.